Good morning, everyone. This is M4J Watt Replays, and today we are watching Harriet 1639 driving his Bat Chat 25 ATP or AP. And this is the French Tier 9 light tank, for those of you who didn't know. He is platooning with Tark Zunio driving his Standard B, and they are going to have a very nice battle here. So, Harriet, he's uh, coming along here. He is going to come down into this ravine right here. Personally, I would drive up onto that sand dune on his left so I could get some spotting off. But he's going to play this bat chat very, very cautiously. He's going to come up right here, see if he can spot anybody. Uh, there is nobody to be spotted, however. And he's just going to remain in this ravine. Here comes the OBJ-140. And thanks to his little French uh, camera ratings, he is un not spotted until this OBJ decides to cross this sand dune. Then he gets one shot there. He's going to reload, gets a second shot onto him, and then he's going to get one more shot off. And then this uh, OBJ gets taken out by his standard B platoon mate. So now he's on his clip reload again. He's just staying down in the sand dune because he's still spotted. The standard B is just going to absolutely YOLO that Sheridan over there. And now this clip's almost reloaded, he's going to poke out. Uh, the IS-7 is not quite in range. So he's going to back up here. There's that uh, Progetto, he's coming around the corner. Doesn't have any more shots off, or doesn't have any more shots. So he's going to come over here and help out with taking out this Progetto. So he gets one shot there. He's going to get a second shot there, and unfortunately he is going to miss the third round. But so... Now he's going to come around over here. He sees that his standard B uh, does not need any assistance with the Sheridan. So he's going to come over here and get some side shots on this OBJ. So here comes one round. Gets a nice penetration there. He's going to reload. Gets the second round. Now he's spotted. So he needs to be pretty careful. And unfortunately the third round does bounce off. And then the Sheridan gets taken out by the standard B. So they're one of the most dangerous light tanks is now taken out of the game and it is a currently six versus four so he's going to get one unfortunate track shot there he's going to reload t54 blocks the third shot but he is going to be able to penetrate this last shot unfortunately the t54 is going to be taken out i believe uh but he's gonna no actually i take that back the t54 kills the obj He's going to push forward here and come around behind this E-75. Hopefully he can get a shot on him before he takes out the T-54. He gets one uh, bounce there. Come around behind him, gets a second shot off. And then he is going to get a third shot off onto his side. And the T-54 makes a mistake there, pokes out, and the E-75 is able to take him out. But being a light tank, he is just able to easily circle this E-75. And there's nothing that this uh, monstrous German heavy tank can do comes around his rear, gets one shot on his turret, he's going to reload, get a second shot off, and then he's going to take him out with his third shot. So now it is only two tanks left on the enemy team, the IS-7 and the K-91, and all three of his teammates are over there, so he is going to come around from the rear and flank the heavy tanks. So here he, he's on his reload, there's the IS-7, he can't get any shots off, so he's going to keep pushing forward here. They have just lost their other heavy tank, I believe. And so now he's going to come up here. There's that IS-7. He's going to get one shot there. He's going to reload. He's going to get a second shot off on him. Unfortunately, it's not going to kill him. He isn't going to get that kill. He's going to go for this K-91 over here. I personally would have uh, taken out the IS-7 before going for the K-91. But that's okay, because the IS-7 gets taken out in the end anyway. So there, uh, there goes the standard B. The IS-7 on his team, I have no idea what he's doing, but he's going to come around behind here. He's going to get one shot there on the K-91. He's going to reload, get a second shot there, and then he is going to take out this K-91 for his second kill. So a pretty nice game overall from Harriet 1639 trapping his uh, Tier 9 Bat Chat. Gets 5,300 damage and 2 kills, and his platoon mate gets 3,500 damage and 2 kills as well, for a total of 8,800 8, damage combined. So thank you for sing sending that replay into me, Harriet. Uh, it's a pretty nice replay. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. This is M4J Watt Replays, over and out.